Hey, welcome to Edgy Blades. I'm Ed, and these are knives that I buy myself, not being sent to me, just a, a regular guy giving a regular, honest review of something I saw that I thought was pretty cool, and I thought I'd want to share it with you. And today, what we have here is a new one from Kubi, and this is called the Cito, C E T O, and yes, it is an Ultim Yellow. <laughs> I know some people are little uh, one way or the other when it comes to Ultim, but I I like this one. Um, sometimes Ultim can be a little too slick, sometimes a little too bright. Uh, with this stone wash finish on the scales and the blade and so forth, it gives it almost kind of like a darker orangey yellow, and I'm okay with that. So when I first saw this, aside from the handle, it was the blade that got me. And one knife that I've been really wanting to get my hands on, just haven't pulled the trigger yet, is the uh, Concept Fenrir. And this reminds me very much of the Fenrir, the way the blade is. And at a considerably cheaper price tag. Uh, this is 14C28N. It is a quite a clip, clip point uh, flack around blade. And it's got this really nice stone wash to it, so you don't have to worry about scratching it up if you're doing some hard use on it. But hey, 14C28N is really nice to work with. It's just great steel, stainless, easy to touch up, and so forth. This one here has awesome jimping on that thumb ramp. And even if you want to come around this way, you can use that downward there. But the belly on this blade was just made for cutting, and it's a beauty. I mean, look at that edge gleaming. Yeah, it's a sharp one. Now, what did concern me about this one particularly was, do I really want to get something that's telling me where I'm putting my fingers, and is this really ergonomic? So, Leap of Faith took a chance, and I am glad to say that yes this is very very ergonomic it fits very comfortably in the hand even for hand my size uh, I was a bit concerned with it doing that the old swoop up but as you can see with the way my digits lay in there and just naturally you want to put your thumb there right there for some great slicing but um, your two fingers on the end here just fit really nice and comfortably there. Let's see, reverse grip, uh, yeah, same deal right there. Very comfortable. And it's got that nice rounded end there, so you got yourself a whew, quite a comfy knife, um, all in all. They advertise this as ambidextrous. I don't see where you can put a and they don't offer another pocket clip on this so let's just say right side tip up only on this one here but it's got some really nice thumb um, thumb studs on it ceramic ball bearing action i'm sure um but yeah fires right out just fine that way and the way they got that there yeah very nice see if I can get that out with a little more authority yeah you got it so yeah very comfortable very very sharp uh, let's see now I love the slice of a blood cake catalog so let's see let us do that if I can find a piece that is able to do that oh did you just hear and see that that is ultra sharp Woo. how are we doing in the box category good night no joke holy smokes that was my first time really doing any cutting with this here i did just get it out of the box but wow am i impressed and this is super so, a little more about it. Overall, we are looking at 8.19 inches. The blade itself, 3.46 inches with a thickness of 0 0.12 inches. And the weight is a decent 4.55 ounces. So, 
you got yourself a pretty decent sized knife. Uh, having this in the pocket, I was a bit concerned about it being too wide and uncomfortable, but it sits in there so nicely. Nothing's getting in the way right there with it being rounded like that. And yeah, it's a beauty. Uh, I'm, I gotta tell you, uh, again, Altum can be hit or miss with the way they do it, sometimes too smooth, but look at the milling on that there. The way it's just designed and just spir spirals along on both sides, you are getting a great no-slip grip on this baby. And if Altum is not your preference, this is also available with JG10 and a black stone wash. You can get this in red G10 with a black stone wash. There's the black stone wash with a black G10, as well as uh, you can get this with Tiffany blue with a stone wash finish, which will look pretty nice. I was half tempted to do that, but eh, I took a chance with this one. I'm not disappointed whatsoever. And you can also get this with black G10 with a stone wash and yellow G10 with a black stone wash. So you got your pick, man. And these go for 56 right now, 56 bucks on White Mountain Knives. You can feel free to use my code of capital NCN for my old channel name, Newcastle Ninja. And you get 10% off of that. Plus you get free shipping. So if you don't want to go there, you want to go on Amazon, feel free. Um, well, what I would say also, which is really a nice thing, is that the HRC on this is rated from 60 to 62. I mean, how often do you hear that? Usually you're hearing about 58 to 60. But this, yeah, this is a workhor uh, workhorse and super sharp, very comfortable, and whew, I'm digging it. Uh, again, if I don't know if I mentioned or not, but this is a Muzi design. So let's see if I can get that on there. Yep, Muzi design. Just look at that stone wash. It is a beauty. Kind of got that honey yellow kind of color to it, and it's very nicely contoured. Very, very comfortable, and I am really digging it. So glad I pulled the trigger on this one. I think you won't be too disappointed if you were to, this is something that you were considering. It's definitely worth it. Oh yeah, lanyard lovers, good for you. You got yourself a little out of the way spot if you need to put that lanyard in there. More power to you. Not my thing, but hey, no problem. And the screws are recessed right into there. Whew. So it, there is no getting in and it's it very nice and springy. It goes in and out of the pocket just nicely. And I am, the more I'm handling this here and after doing that cutting, I am loving this thing. This is just everything I was hoping it would be. And there you go. This is the Kubi Sito and I'm Edgy Blades. Feel free to uh, leave a comment appreciate it if you'd hit the thumbs up for liking it and if you would i really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe so that's it i'll see you guys on the next one take care